Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Just doing a brief, quick kind of update today. Um, because sort of scary turn of events uh, happened <laughs> last night. Um, if you haven't, uh, you may want to watch uh, my video that I posted. I'll leave a link up here. Uh, about my health struggles and uh, last night was was really really scary um, I was at church and was having a good time just sitting there uh, uh, singing and and getting ready to have prayer time and things like that when I started having chest pain and then the chest pain moved into my arm, down my arm, and then up into my neck and my jaw here. Um, and I knew something wasn't right. Um, but we have quite a few medical personnel that attend our church. And so my son was sitting with me. And as I kept singing, because I didn't want to draw attention, you know, a lot of attention to what was going on. I told him, uh, can you quietly go get um, so-and-so, who is a couple of pews behind us, and let them know that I'm not doing too good. And so he, he did good. Uh, he followed directions very well, and he quietly went and got uh, so-and-so, and, -so and uh, talked to them, and I told them what was going on, and, uh, you know, they could see you know, how I was doing, and uh, they told me, you know, you need to go to the ER, and you need to go now, and uh, they offered to uh, call the ambulance for me, and get all that going, and then uh, they notified my husband, who was running sound, and, uh, you know, my son, uh, to try to quietly get me up and, and move me out to the church foyer. That way, you know, we can keep things calm and kind of, you know, not have all the ruckus going on in the sanctuary. So we did that and uh, uh, things kind of went into a blur. Um, there was a lot of action going on. Um, I was being prayed over by a couple of church friends as others were attending to me medically in their various aspects while we waited for the ambulance to arrive. <clears throat> and then eventually I ended up going to uh, the ER via ambulance. And uh, it was it was scary because uh, you know here I thought maybe you know maybe I'm I'm finally having that heart attack that uh, you know we've been looking to see what's going on with my heart and uh well the the uh heart monitors wasn't showing an active heart attack so they're kind of ruling that one out at the moment and then they're thinking sounds like you got a pulmonary embolism which if you guys don't know what that is that's when you get those blood clots uh, that they warn you about when you get them in your chest in your lungs and things that can they can go to your heart and cause a heart attack or go up into your brain and cause a stroke. Um, so they worried that I had a pulmonary embolism. Um, so they did the D-dime test, D-dimer test, ruled that out. Um, and so right now they're not quite sure what's going on. They released me last night, later in the evening, uh, quite a bit later, um, after giving me some medication to calm things down and set me up to do um, testing this morning, to come right back to the hospital and do testing this morning. Um, I wasn't in a severe case to stay overnight, that's why they, need, they didn't keep me, but they had me come back uh, to get the required testing done for my heart so they can figure out what is going on. But right now, insurance is being a pain. Isn't that the way it goes sometimes? Um, you have these testings that you need to get done for your various health conditions and the insurance is such a butt about it. So anyways, that's where we're at right now. Um, my cardiologist 
uh, that I just got assigned to today. <laughs> um, they are hoping that it's just uh, severe anxiety attacks. And um, I was talking about that with her and she was asking if I, you know, seek counseling and all these things, you know, to, to work on my anxiety issues. And, you know, I told her, yes, I seek counseling, you know, and um, things like that. And I'm learning skills on how to manage my stress levels better and things like that. But the anxiety attacks that I get that, that are troublesome are not the ones where you're worked up into a frenzy and you can you know that you're upset and that you're you're anxious and you know you gotta calm yourself down. You know, those aren't the ones that are the problem because I can use my skills. I can talk to people, I can go for a walk, you know, and, and actually, you know, calm myself down, breathe. But the ones that are troublesome are the ones that come out of nowhere. That uh, your body is instantly in a flight or fight mode. And there's nothing you can do for that. Um, you can't calm yourself down because you don't know what's going on. Because you don't know that you're anxious. Like, I was telling her, I said... I have no reason to be anxious. This week has been an awesome week, except for, you know, I haven't been feeling the greatest, but it's awesome. I mean, today the sun is just gorgeous. My bills are paid. There's food on my table. You know, um, I have new new baby ducklings. I have new chicks that are, uh, are eggs in the incubator to become chicks. Um, you know, life is great this week, so why am I stressing? You know, I don't have anything to stress out about. Um, but she said, well, subconsciously you could be stressing. Well, if I'm subconsciously stressing, then how am I going to use my skills to prevent me from having anxiety attacks from things I don't know I'm anxious about? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's where we're going right now. I don't know what's wrong with me. The doctors don't know what's wrong with me. We have to do a bunch of different tests to figure it out. Um, Lord willing, we can get this figured out. Because if you don't know what's wrong, you can't fix it. And that's the biggest issue right now is we don't know what's wrong. So we don't know how to fix it. And um, so that's, that's a little disheartening. It's a little stressful. There we go. I'm acknowledging I am stressed. <laughs> but good grief. Give me a break, guys. But anyways, um, so that's where we are right now. And um, I don't know. But let me tell you something. I want to give a shout out to a, a channel that's doing, uh, she's doing way, 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 way worse than I am. Um, if you're not familiar with the uh, needy, Homesteader, I think that's the name of the channel. If it's not, I will have it correct uh, in the description box below, and I'll try to tag her up here. Uh, but I believe it's the Needy Homesteader. Um, I've watched a few of her uh, videos just because she does some of the kind of things that I like to do, and I can learn things from her. But she was in one uh, hell of a accident uh, recently that has completely devastated her entire family. And uh, it was devastating to watch the video. I couldn't even, I couldn't even watch the whole thing because it just, it tears at your heartstrings. But I'm gonna share the, that video up above because uh, if you guys are prayer partners or if you guys, uh, you know, wanna be able to help somebody who's really, really struggling, check her out. Um, her name's Heather and uh, I watched another one of her videos today. <laughs> it was kind of interesting. You know, we're sitting at the hospital. And I have nothing better to do than watch YouTube videos. <laughs> That's what I do, guys, is I watch other YouTubers out there. But uh, one of her older videos from a year ago came into my news feed today. And I was so blessed by it, guys. So blessed by it. Um, within like the first four minutes, she basically explained my life <laughs> and how I feel. And it kind of went along with that video that I posted um, uh, just a few days ago about my health journey. She took that journey herself and she's still taking that journey. And I'll try to post that video up here too. Um, 
it's just an awesome, awesome video if you suffer from fibromyalgia or no, no other people who do. Uh, just a wonderful, wonderful video that she did. But, um, you know, I think about her, where she's at, what she's dealing with. And uh, what I am dealing with ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. So I'm just thankful that right now I'm up walking around. I'm outside enjoying the beautiful sunshine, the fresh air and things where right now she's still in the hospital, you know, and uh, she has a lot she's dealing with. She has the reasons to have these anxiety attacks that, you know, I'm having supposedly. <laughs> but anyways, so that's just some information I want to share with you. Depending on what goes on with the various testing and stuff like that, I don't know how often I'm going to be able to upload because right now I'm still very, very tired, very exhausted, very weak, very dizzy. Um, it's a blessing right now that it can be out here walking and talking with you um, because for the past basically week or so, almost two weeks now, I really can't uh, move around and walk much. It just wears me out. Um, but I just want to let you know if you see a decline in the amount of content I'm putting out, it's because of my health struggles right now and uh, it takes a lot out of me to just get up and around, let alone try to upload new content. So I'll do what I can for you guys because I love sharing information with y'all, but be patient and bear with me and uh, if you're the praying kind, pray that we can uh, get this figured out so I can get get better you know so I just thank you so much for watching the video for following me on my journey um, if you just happen to hop on the video if you want you can follow me on my journey by hitting that subscribe button and as always I just want to just say to you guys that wherever you are I hope you're wonderfully blessed so until next time everybody Bye-bye.